Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, let's continue where we left off. We are doing the final mission. We are maybe one third through. And we need a few reloads still. Edward is still concealed, however, so he can scout ahead a little bit. Let's take a peek into the next room. See if there are any groups inside. Doesn't look like it so far. We have our pet Andromedon over here. He only took a little bit of damage. So he's fine. Alright then. Let's move on. And Nicoletta. Oh, hi! <laughs> a berserker. Well then. Yeah, that shot will not do a whole lot. It won't even hit, actually. So, friends. Okay, Berserker Prime, Firestarter. Firestarter Prime. Okay, it's a whole family, <laughs> apparently. However, we do have the Rage Shield. And in that case, that helped quite a lot. But we got two Primes to deal with. This might be a good moment to use the Frost Bomb. Possibly. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to use the Frost Bomb here. That just makes sense. So, James, that would be your job. If we stay where we are, we can still take one shot, but are we close enough? No, we are not close enough. Well then, alright. Let's move a little bit closer in that case. But I'm definitely using the Frost Bomb here. Okay, fine. Let's freeze both primes. That's a lot of damage that we'll have to do. We always have something like Banish, but I'd rather keep Banish for the final room. So, Bill still needs a reload. Let's take a look. Do we start from the Prime or from the regular Berserker? Let's start from the Prime. We'll kill one Prime on this turn, and then another Prime on the next turn. Because that's still a lot of damage that we have to do. So, Nicoletta, we could try Precision Shot. 40% chance to create. That might work. Possibly. Yeah, okay, let's try. 30% chance to create. Maybe we'll get it. There we go, we actually got it. Well done. Okay, now the regular Berserker. Let's maybe kill that. Because that guy is not actually frozen, you know? Obviously. While the other two are, and the fourth one is panicking in the back. So, Andromedon. How about Acid Bomb? Yeah, we can hit both. Definitely a good idea, let's do that. That will kill one Prime. Here. Okay, Lauren. Who else do we have here? We got Michael. He can do some pretty nice damage. From slightly closer. Here, 34% chance to crit. Nice one. Now we can get a kill with Lauren. Or with anyone else, really. Or with Edward. He will stay concealed. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. And then we can hit the other Prime. So this was pretty easy, but that's largely thanks to the Frost Bomb. It would have been very different without it. I can tell you as much. We might as well hit the fire starter. And we still got Lauren. Okay then, she's immune to acid, so she doesn't care about that too much. Just do some damage. Okay, oh hi! Right, I didn't quite expect that. Well then, we got an Andromedon. Interesting. That's the end of our turn. So, let's see what's going to happen now. We do have tactical analysis, obviously. Here's the first shot, we parried. I assume the Codex will use Sonic Bomb. But they only have one action. Yep, it will use Sonic Bomb, that's fine. We can deal with that. But that's a lot of disabled weapons. 
And to the other one. Okay then. So, how do we do this right now? I can reload and then run and gun. Definitely a good idea. We need some damage. Okay, so single reload. Then we can use run and gun. And to take a shot at the Berserker Prime. Because we still have to kill it. I'm not leaving a Prime alive, that's for sure. Definitely not. Okay. And we can kill it with Lauren. I suppose that's fine. She can stay where she is. And use parry. Yeah, alright. Let's do that. She still has a lot of armor, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, how much damage can we do to other enemies? We still got that fire starter, and we might want to kill it. We also have the codex on the left. Let's see. Can we take a shot? A good shot. Not at the codex. Unless... No, that's not going to work. The wall is blocking the way. I think we'll just take a shot at the fire starter. But let's get some cover. She has low profile, so any cover counts as full. 94%. Yep, let's go for it. I'll try to use our Andromedon friend as a mobile mimic beacon. So we'll just move it into the middle and let it stand over there. It won't be able to shoot anything, but that's fine. I just want it to draw some fire and keep their attention. So we need 12 damage to kill the fire starter. There's no good remote start, unfortunately. Antonio, we could use stasis. I'm actually considering stasis on that codex or something like that. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, sure, let's put it in stasis. Antonio can't really take any shots on this turn anyway. That will neutralize it. Then James. No full cover available, unfortunately. This will have to do. Now, since we can't reload on this turn anyway, should we consider doing something else? I think not. I'd rather keep all of these grenades for the final room. So just hunker down. And what about Bill? I don't think he can do a whole lot either. Not really. I think Overwatch might be the best option. We can, however, use Dimensional Rift. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We can also Mind Control. That's definitely an option. That might actually be better, honestly. Yeah, let's Mind Control that Andromedon in the back. There is a slight risk we'll trigger it another group, but we shouldn't. And that will give us a second mobile Mimic Beacon, basically. Here, nice. Okay, then. What else can we do? We still got Edward. I would prefer to keep him concealed. I don't think we can kill the fire starter, or can we? We can if we use combat protocol. And then Edward could finish the job. Can't say I'm too excited about that idea. But that will still leave us with one more use of combat protocol. Let's just do it. He won't be panicking after this turn anymore, so I'd rather just kill him. Which only leaves us with one codex. Because we are controlling the Andromedon. And the codex, the other codex is in stasis. So that will be a kill for sure. And we'll stay concealed. Which is what I wanted. Nice. Okay then. 
We just need to kill that Andromedon because it will not stay mind controlled forever, only for a few turns. The Codex will target it, that's fine. And we still need to kill the other Codex. Just something to keep in mind. And I don't think Nicoletta can take a shot. No, not really. Well, I mean, she can, but only through full cover. Which will still give us holo targeting. So I guess that's not a terrible idea. Yeah, 74% chance, that's not too bad. Here, we got it. Nice one. No need for holo targeting. Now, the other codex. Let's see, what's our chance to hit here? I can't quite move up there, unfortunately. 41%. Okay. Who can do some damage? Not a lot of people, to be honest. Yeah, not really. We are a little bit too far away right now. And we need reloads. Yeah, I don't think we'll be killing it on this turn, unless that Andromedon somehow hits. But even then, that's not quite enough. We would have to hit with both our Andromedons. Seems fairly unlikely with 40%. Not impossible, but unlikely. There we go, we hit it once. Where will the clone go? Over here? Okay then. Let's see. We should be able to kill at least one clone, I think. We can't quite flank it, unfortunately, but I can use the Acid Bomb. That's an option. And we can kill this one with Rend. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. You cannot run. Goodbye. Do we have any other options or just that Acid Bomb? Not that it matters all that much, might as well just use the Acid Bomb. It makes zero difference. We'll be killing this Andromedon anyway, so it doesn't even matter that it will be on cooldown. Literally zero difference whatsoever. Alright then. So, we'll kill that one and then we can move on. Reload. Oh wait, we didn't actually kill that Codex. Yeah, right. I mean, it ran away, so it doesn't really make a difference. And it's at one health. Right, let's kill that Andromedon, shall we? Yes, let's. This one. Might be a good idea to shred it first. Just saying. Antonio, where are you? Right here. And then we'll still have the Andromedon shell to deal with. We can actually move a little bit. Here. That will be better. Significantly better. Alright, 100. One more shot. It's at one health. We could just leave it alive for one more turn. But I don't think that's necessary, we have enough damage. At least I'm pretty sure we have enough damage. Nicoletta doesn't have line of sight though. You know what, let's wait one turn actually. It will still be mind controlled at least for one more turn anyway. So just overwatch, it's fine. We'll finish it off on the next turn. Overwatch just in case. Probably not necessary. But there's no downside to using it. Okay, now we can finish the job. So... And now the shell. And then we'll have one more group to deal with, I think. Should be one more group. Nice one. 
doesn't really matter who's going to finish the job. It makes no difference. Bye bye. Alright, time to move on. We still need a few reloads. Or in case of Michael, a lot of reloads. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's going to need like three turns to hands. reload all of that. It is slightly annoying. On the move. Just slightly. Reload for the Andromedon. So before we move on, let's get more ammunition for him. <laughs> we can also send Edward to scout ahead. Scout out the next group. He is concealed, so it's fine. There it is. That is a pretty big group right there. Okay. Sectopod. No good remote start. They are slightly too far away. If they move a little bit more to the left, that might work. Let's see if they are going to move at all. Because there's no guarantee. We are pretty close. We might be able to catch them in a trap. It's a possibility. If they move even slightly, then we will get some shots. That would be nice. Let's see if we can make it work. Just don't move too close. Where can Nicoletta go? No worry, useful on this turn. Okay, just move slightly closer. That will do. And Overwatch. Over here. Reload for Michael. Not a whole lot of ammunition, but at least he has something. Okay, let's see if they are going to move or not. That would be the best case scenario, really. Yep, they are moving. Will they see us? Yes, they will. Nice. Okay, fingers crossed for some good damage here. Or at least we saw them, but we missed. Yeah, they didn't actually see us and they won't trigger because we missed. I mean, we can just keep doing this. That's not a problem. Yeah, let's just reload. Or we don't even have to reload. Let's move into cover instead. That sounds like a better plan. Okay, let's go into cover and then we'll overwatch again. And we'll get another chance. Okay, overwatch. On everyone. Well, maybe except Michael. Then again, he can reload once and then overwatch. That works. Yep. Okay, bring it on. Come on, where's that shot? No shot? Well, they will come back. We'll just wait for them. I'm okay with that. We could even use some high ground. That would certainly help. Especially in case of Michael, because he will get a harsh range penalty. So, overwatch. Just overwatch on everyone. We can maybe move a little bit closer. With a few people. Not too close. But just slightly closer. That will do. Yep, looks good to me. Reload all the things. Well, only one weapon, I suppose. Okay, yeah, now we will definitely get some shots. I'm pretty sure Michael will see them. No? Yeah, here it comes. This needs to hit. There we go, 11 damage. That's what I like to see. That's the sectopod. Now they should move towards us and we'll get more reaction shots. That's the general idea. Nice one. Well, only 3 damage, but it's better than 0. More, come on. Yeah, this'll do like one. Because armor. Or zero. Here comes the Andromedon, nice, shredded. Anyone else? Come on, there's Avatar. Good one. Can we actually just kill the Sectopod? There's a good chance. There we go, seven damage. Bill, go. Is it down yet? Yep, it's down, we got it. Nice. That was perfect. A plus ambush. 
Now we got Andromedon, two mutants, and a codex to deal with. That shouldn't be too hard. We'll see what we can do about that. We might be able to use Dimensional Rift. It should be off cooldown by now. Yes. Well, we never actually used it to begin with. So either Mind Control or Dimensional Rift. Let's use Dimensional Rift. We didn't get a chance to use it yet. So let's just use that. It will kill the Codex, so we got that going for us. And it will do tons of damage to the other three. So, first Michael. We can move a little bit closer. That will give us pretty good chance to hit. Oh, nice. And one mutant will panic because of the rage suit. And it will shoot the other mutant. Okay. 74% chance to kill that one. Here. Good enough. Now the Andromedon. Let's see. Can we kill the Andromedon? We should be able to. Now we could use rapid fire. Especially since we'll also get holo targeting. Yep, let's do that. So the second shot will have higher chance to hit than the first. Here, it's down. Nice. Yeah, the second shot was 83%. And now we should be able to kill the shell, no problem whatsoever. James is slightly too far away. Ninety percent with burst, but we still missed. Never mind. Enemy is still up. Yes, enemy is still up. You're telling me. Okay, we need a free reload right now. I think. Yes, we do, which is fine. We got several. That's why I only use them when I really need them. Well, that will definitely not miss. And one more shot should do it. We don't even have to use no lance. Bye bye. And now the panicky mutant. We don't even have to kill it on this turn. And then the final room. That should be fun. You tried. Oh yeah, we can just hit it like this. It's an infector, so it cannot counterattack. It's only regular mutants that do that. Bye bye. So, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. Any reloads? As you order, Commander. Maybe, maybe not on this turn. I like how Edward is still concealed after all of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we killed everything. So it's time for the second phase. Should be fun. Let's go everyone. So now there's an actual transition. But that's been the case for a while. Let's move closer. Let's go everyone, no slacking. The job's not done yet. Maybe we should wait for all the cooldowns. Can we still wait? Yeah, we can still wait. Let's reload everything. And wait a turn or two for all the cooldowns. So, reload, reload. One more weapon. Michael needs several turns to reload back to full, actually. Which is the biggest downside for his weapon. Yeah, let's just reload him back to full. It's fine. It's not like we are in a huge rush. We most certainly are not. There's nothing left around here. Come on, Michael. Reload faster. One more turn, and we'll have full ammunition again. Good to go. There, we are back to full. So, let's move on, shall we? On this should be fun. So, so, so. Are we close enough now? 
Don't tell me we still got some enemies to kill. I think we still have some enemies to kill. Well then, alright. On this side most likely. Fine, we'll just send Edward to scout ahead. I did not expect any more groups. Yeah, here they are. What's that? Some Archons. No problem. Let's see if they're going to move. Maybe we can catch them in an ambush. First, let's move everyone into cover. That would be nice. Certainly. You there. Yeah, he can't move anymore. Overwatch. These are definitely the last two enemies. There's no way there's anything else in here. And it doesn't look like they are moving. Which is fine, we'll come to them. It's all good. Let's just maybe spread out a little bit. We need cover for everyone. Overwatch just in case they actually decide to move. But I'm pretty sure they will not. Okay, right, let's do this. So, Nicoletta. We could also use some high ground. Nah, it's fine. Well, actually, no, it's not fine. 67% is a little bit low for my taste. The only problem is cover up here. They will see us if we stand over here. And there's not a whole lot of cover anywhere else. I think it's best if we just take a shot. Yeah, let's just take a shot. It's fine. Here, we got it. Now they will have to move towards us. Or maybe not. Well then, in that case, we'll just take another shot. Nice one. Looks like we will have to come a little bit closer. Fine by me. Let's send our Andromedon friend. He can take a shot. 65% is not that bad. His aim is not exactly high. Is Lauren close enough? Nope, not quite. We could still use something like Vault. But let's not waste focus. We'll just take a regular shot with the pistol. Here. We should be able to kill at least one of them. I'm pretty sure we can. Okay, that's too far away. Run and gun. This will be close enough. 67%. Not amazing, but it will have to do, I'm afraid. Here. Yeah, it dodged. Slightly irritating. We need one more hit. I think Edward can do it. Yes, he does have penetrator scope. So the preview lies. Here, one down. I don't think we can kill the other one on this turn. That's fairly unlikely at this point. And by fairly unlikely I mean no, we can't. Well, that's fine, let's just overwatch. It will have to come to us. This will do. Maybe we can take a shot with Commander Zavatar. No, just overwatch then. There's tactical analysis, so it only has one action. Here comes the reaction shot, with whole one damage. Not exactly impressive, and it didn't go very far apparently. Well then, alright. So first, holo targeting. Where's Nicoletta? Right here. Take that shot first. That will give us holo targeting. And we'll miss terribly. We can move a little bit closer with Michael. Nice one. That's what I'm talking about. But we still need 13 more damage. They have quite a lot of health. We are just barely close enough to take a shot with Antonio. That's better. 
Now Edward can get a kill again. He should have 100. Yup, easily. And then we'll be done. Here. Now we are done. But the final room can easily take half an hour, so I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time for the grand finale. Bye bye.